What's up guys? I thought I'd make a quick video talking about the first computer I ever owned. Um, I'm going to be doing this as a two-part video. These are the two e-machine computers that I had growing up. Um, but I figured I would show them. Uh, they'll, they'll be quick videos because I can't actually boot them up as you can see. Uh, not sure if this is the side panel for... I think this is the side panel for a compact, but... Anyway, this computer is an e-tower. Oh. Let me get over here real quick. I'm in this shed, and it's kind of hard for me to get around stuff here. As you can see, this is the E-Tower, and I believe it's a 633. Either that or it just says, yeah, E-Tower 633 there. And it comes with a 633 megahertz processor. Oops. Uh, 64 megs of RAM, 128K. Uh, what is that? Oh, L2 cache. Um, <clears throat> on the processor, 15 gig hard drive, a 12x DVD player, which actually didn't work. Um, I believe it was a CD player because anytime I put DVDs in it, it never worked. Um, it also could have been because back in the day, I think you needed like PowerDirector or something to write, to play DVDs. It says 3DP AGP graphics. It didn't have an actual AGP slot. It was just onboard graphics. So, I'm not sure if that was just some ploy to get you to buy it, like it had a slot or something. I'm not sure. Um, either that or that's just what it was called. Um, but it wasn't like a, it wasn't an AGP slot. It was just accelerated graphics processor. You know, that's what it's short for. But that's what it had. Um, wasn't very good from what I remember. Ah, here we go. This is an E-Tower 633 IDS. And 56k modem support, which is what I used back in the day. It also came with like a year free of the internet, which is pretty cool. Uh, it came with Windows, or Microsoft Windows Millennium Edition. Uh, AOL, I don't remember it having that. Netscape, Communicator, E, Wear, Sun, Sunstar Office. That stuff was crap. Okay, anytime I'd try to actually transfer something over via floppy drive to the school on Microsoft Office, it wouldn't come out properly and it really always made me mad. On the front here we got a USB port and a, I guess a serial port, it was a game port is what it says. Um, I don't have a motherboard in here because back when I was first learning how to build computers and work on them and do hardware stuff, I ripped the RAM out put it in another system and I don't know why that it didn't work or I, I tr actually I think I tried to put a 128 meg stick in here and it didn't boot so I was like oh you know maybe it's not supported or I don't know I just couldn't get it to work so I put the two 32 meg sticks back in here and I don't know I must have shoved on them too hard or something because that board would never boot again uh, it's no big loss because like I said it was Windows Millennium Edition but the processor was a Celeron, and it had Windows ME, and then this little sticker that says it's about a DVD. As you can see, the drive is missing, board's missing in there. I kept the power supply. Both the e-machines I had had these, like, Ilsan power supplies right there. It's not very much. I think it's, like, 125 watts or something. It's not very much. But this computer, as much as people hate on e-machines and say that they're crappy computers, um, I actually had no problems with this e-machine. So, I don't know, maybe I'm just lucky. Because I never had problems with this e-machines or the other one. But, uh, what I did mostly on this computer was homework back in the day. And I played Neopets on it quite a bit. I never played too many games on it. Um... I mean, I played Roller Coaster Tycoon and and some other cheap games, like some kids' games that the babysitter, uh, her husband, was big into computers and he burnt me a bunch of discs, like Tonka Raceway. And there was a roller coaster. It wasn't Roller Coaster Tycoon. It was like, it was some roller coaster game and you could ride them in 3D, which was pretty cool. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show for this computer. Like I said, all the gaming I really did on this was Neopets. Um, I never really did a lot of um, gaming on this computer. I did it more on the other one because that's when I actually had computer games. But I played Loopy Landscapes and 
roller coaster tycoon like regular and and uh I put Stronghold and Stronghold Crusader on this. Oh, and I played Warcraft 2 and Starcraft on this. So yeah, I did play some games on this, but more so my gaming computer was over there, which I'll show you in a minute. Anyway, guys, that was my E Tower 633. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys for the next computer, which is the E Monster, the E Machine E Monster 1000. So stay tuned.